Spreadsheet Modeling's first generation started in 1979. This revolution ushered in the age of end-user computing, granting accountants, engineers, scientists, teachers, etc. the power to program PCs. The second generation emerged two decades later with the introduction of standards. These standards elevated modeling to a more professional level and made sharing and auditing models far easier. The next two decades saw the emergence of third generation modeling with automation, which greatly improves modeler productivity. The fourth generation of modeling is emerging with advanced features incorporated directly into native Excel, adding unparalleled interconnectivity, flexibility, and adaptability. I believe what I am about to demonstrate is the fifth generation of modeling. It incorporates all the best features of earlier generations. It is native to Excel. It is all about standards. It increases productivity dramatically. It is incredibly flexible. And it brings all these features to all levels of Excel users. In a moment, we will see a demonstration of 5G modeling illustrating something not possible until the introduction of Lambda. This video only demonstrates 5G's power. Later videos will show how it is possible and how any Excel user can start modeling with 5G right now. The demonstration will show a single model with two windows open. The left window will show a user making entries. The right window will show a single 5G function in a single cell adapting to the user's inputs to produce a detailed report capable of expanding to any number of periods, any number of accounts, and any number of budget items without any modeler intervention. Here is the finished model as a blank template. The user's first task is to add an account. Our Lambda places the account in our report. Now our user enters budget items for that account. Critical entries include the account, an expense description, an extended amount, a schedule code, the first date, and if needed, the last date. As accounts and entries are added, the Lambda places them in a report layout, along with any actual expenditures recorded against those accounts in the general ledger. The schedule code determines if a budget item repeats daily, weekly, monthly, etc., or not at all. Some things repeat forever. Some things last only for a while. The amounts are subtotaled by account, and a cumulative total is generated. The model places no limits on the amount of accounts, budget items, or periods. At any time, our user can view totals weekly, quarterly, or annually. 